But now we move on to Cameo. And no, it has nothing to do with hit singles. Word up in the questionably titled Attack Me With Your Love. Please don't. Okay, well, yes, uh, we've been hearing about Cameo for years. Initially, as a GameCube title back in 2001. And while a leap spanning not only a console maker, but also an entire console cycle, normally doesn't bode too well for the quality of the end product. But we do have high hopes for this one. Here's our review of Cameo for the Xbox 360. You're a parent. You're buying an Xbox 360 for your kids. They don't like sports or racing games. You're thinking, what the hell am I gonna buy for this rug rat? <laughs> It's not like it's easy to find a launch game for the Munchkins. Let's see, there's Call of Duty 2. Nope, that's not gonna work. How about Condemned? Don't think so. And then you feast your eyes on cameo elements of power. Surely this sugar-coated pastel-tinged adventure is just what Captain Kangaroo ordered. Not so fast. Yeah, the story is saccharine enough. Cameo is an elf with the ability to transform into 10 different creatures. But like many families, Sister's just a little jealous. Determined to swing this way, Sis kidnaps Cameo's family. Cameo sets off for a little payback. But when the King Troll is awakened and goes Ike Turner on her ass, she has to start from square one. And there, it seems, you have the setup for another bedtime story. But this is a game with an identity crisis. After being developed for the GameCube, Xbox, and now the Xbox 360, it's not hard to understand why. One minute, your glucose levels are going into the red. And the next... Stripped of all her elemental warriors, Cameo's on the hunt for shadow trolls that have trapped the critters inside their transparent carcasses. Stomp a shadow troll, and you can map one of the monsters to a button for one press access. Each of the inventive elemental warriors has its own attacks and abilities, and the levels are set up to take advantage of every last one. You can upgrade the varmints with new abilities, and if you dole out enough blam, you'll enter Cameo's version of Bullet Time. We love some of the warriors, like Samus. I mean, Major Ruin. Another favorite is Pummelweed, because, well, he's a plant with boxing gloves. Others don't fare as well because they lack versatility or are only used in specific situations. In one rare case, the controls are so busted, you wonder why the beast is even in the game. While the gameplay can be versatile, it's still kind of light when compared to many of Rare's previous adventure ROMs. And eventually, you come to the realization that this is a beat-em-up in a pink nightgown. I'll be at a see-through nightgown with furry tufts covering the naughty bits and the blood stain on the front. We can't figure out who this game is for. But we know just about everyone will enjoy it for the dozen or so hours it lasts. We give it a four out of five. Now, it's worth noting that people yes. who think this is a platformer like Rare has done in the past, it is not. It is an entirely different type of game. Right. There's no jumping. There's no jumping. It's more adventurous. It is. But there also is some decent online co-op play on Xbox Live that could give Cameo a little bit of the added replay value.